Rob, 24 hours away from returning to European action, and that you must be really excited with the way the guys are playing and going into this game with the Scarlets. Yeah, and I think that's our challenge. Our challenge is that we're we're playing pretty well. We're getting some good results, uh, and now we have to back that up in a, ultimately a, a higher intensity competition. That's um, the Heineken Cup against a team who are a little bit like us, searching for their first win in the competition. Uh, who've got a proud history in this competition, and who will uh, will come out with us uh, come at us all guns blazing. England versus Wales are normally tasty affairs. Is it same at club rugby level, would you say? Uh, a little bit, but I mean, we've talked to the players very much, you know, as much as I think, you know, I would like to sit here and go, this is England versus Wales. It's, it's not anymore, it's not like that. You know, it, it's, you know, our, our clubs, our team's made up of all nationalities, something where we're very proud of, but it is a premiership versus a Rabo direct side. And I've, I've made the players aware of that, you know, so there is, there is an element of that cross competition challenge that I think is very important because we would like to think that the Premiership is a tough environment uh, but if we think it's a tough environment we have to play like that we have to play like a tough set of, of players um, and, and kind of show Premiership quality uh, in everything we do. Among those you've brought into the side a few changes Damien Welsh person that knows the Scarlets mm. inside out I'd imagine he's really impressed in the last few weeks and deserves his chance. Definitely I mean you know anyone who watched the LV Cup games will have seen how well he played had another very good game in the A-League against Wasps and you know if guys are on form um, and and also you know I'm I'm very aware that you know some games are very important to certain players and I think you know as you know Tommy Hayes for an example going and playing against Leinster in Ireland you know that's that's a game that that you have to kind of pick some players for and and I think Damien being on form has made the selection of giving him a crack at his his old club. Uh, at a place where he used to play quite easy for us. You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, we've probably been looking at a way of introducing some of the players who've been on, on good form into the side, and I think this is just a great opportunity for Damien. Right round the squad, though, you've got real competition for places. I think it's only James Phillips and Kai Horseman that remain long term for yeah. you, but uh, the, the battle is there, and you hmm. can see it week in, week out now. Definitely, and I think the key for us is making sure that we always put a strong team on the pitch, um, but at the same time, you know, we do try and maintain some freshness because, you know, we're not halfway through the season yet. Uh, we've got a nice base and the only way you can really build on from the foundations we've laid is to keep the squad as fresh as possible, as happy as possible, uh, try and even out some game time a little bit if we can and just keep that real hunger and, as I say, that energy on the pitch and we're in a position where we can maybe do that in a few positions in the team and not really affect our starting quality. So where we can do that, we, we probably will. Um, there's a little bit of that happened this week, you know, with Sorelli coming back in, giving Phil Dolman a little bit of a break because he's had a lot of rugby, a lot of tough rugby lately. Um, and, you know, that's that's just an example of it. The same with Hawani coming back in, Damien Welsh coming in. You know, there are there are a few opportunities where we can we can, like I say, we can add players and not really affect the quality too much of what we want to do. You know, Jack Knowles been outstanding the last two weeks and. You know, he's made way for an international winger this week who's on form. And that, those kind of changes are the ones you want to be able to make. Right around the squad, though, there's a real ambition. And we've mm. seen it in a lot of performances, particularly Europe as well, where they haven't been afraid to have a go yeah. at the European heavyweights, is it? And that's very much what we've got to do. We've got to make sure that we, we try and stay true to ourselves. And we don't, we don't kind of go to Scarlets and think uh, what we have to do is change anything or, or, or try and be too concerned with the game as a, as a, as a one-off. For me, it's about us pushing through what we do, and, and what we do is we, we kind of play and we go for it and we try and create as much pressure as possible, normally by keeping the ball and playing, um, and I think that's what we've got to do. We've got to, we've got to try and make the game about ourselves, and making the game about yourselves means keeping the ball and attacking, not spending the whole day defending. So that, that's what we've got to try and do, but obviously we're very aware Scarlets are a good side. They've got very close to a world-class back line, and, and, and that's a challenge, but, but we're good at challenges, and, and I hope we face up to this one full on again. You talk about their back division, probably half the Welsh squad is, is, is in there, but up front as well, they're mm. equally as tough and they've added bits to their game, they'd like to drive the ball. Yeah, and I think and I think that's the big challenge that they're, they're laying down now, is that it isn't like you can assume that every ball from every scrum and every line out is going to get zipped away and they're just going to play. You know, they'll, they'll come at you up front as well. Uh, they're starting to establish a good young um, front row who are, you know, as I say, kind of got a little bit more about them than just creating hot ball for the backs. And as I say, that, that makes it makes the challenge. When you have to when you have to defend a set of forwards and a set of backs, uh, you know, as I say, your your your, your situations multiply that are difficult to defend, and you know, we're aware of that. You know, we've worked we've worked hard at looking at all those as aspects, and as I said, for me, it's about it's about us going there, and we have to aim to win a driving battle, but we also have to aim to win a rugby battle, and you know, that, that's what good teams can do. They can they can do everything.